you do a thing with these slots while we're waiting. Sure. And, and when you go to sleep tonight, mm -hmm. folks, this is what you envision in yourself. Um, like Kit like said, we're going to learn the depth squat in a little while, which was what really helped me get a single leg squat, because part of my thing was the fear of doing a single leg squat. Um, you could hold on, do you teach either way? Either way. Either yeah. way, or you can do the leg in free space business. Holding on provides that chain of, you know, that big chain of, ah, oh, I'm here and I know where I am. Always watch yourself in the mirror if you can. As you get closer to the floor, you'll have to straighten out a little bit. And as Kit said, it's highly diagnostic, so I can feel where I am. I can feel if I've got one hip forward. I can feel where my knee is. I can feel if I'm going to start lifting like that, which would be bad. And I want to try and drive the chest up. That's a perfect coming to leg Oh, OK. So now you can see my bad leg. Do you ever, so that was oh, my demonstration. Do you ever yeah. swap arm to foot? Yes. yes. Do I ever? Or I go, that's no, fine too. Yeah, same I go same side. Yeah. Now watch what happens to her right knee. That's yeah. what I mean. This is what I mean about diagnosis. Mm. Watch you. what happens to my hips. They tend to swing out to the side. I'm going to try not to, but this is definitely the leg that doesn't work as well. pretty good. I'm good. And see how my toes are hanging onto my fingers? So the first exercise to practice is just this. Heels against the support, go down, and come up. It's very easy on a high support, that's the whole point. Perfect. I can't believe you have to use that. Put it in the centre of the room, please. Perfect. Now those of you who find it very easy off a high support, go down to the next lower support and then try it on the floor. I've done it before. I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> and come up on two legs. So I go down on one, negative, come up on two. Down on one, come up on two. Off you go. Now, let me use Pat as an object here, an object lesson. Do it again on your left leg. And can the camera come around and have a fist please, Paul? Look at the work that his body is struggling to do to keep alignment in his ankles. We're going to go down on the left leg again, right? That is what we're trying to train in the body. And so when you're doing this for yourself, I would recommend that you do it in front of something like this. And you actually watch your ankle and make sure you're getting the full visual feedback experience all the way down and just try to hold everything as still as possible as you go down. Once you master it with your eyes open, you try it with your eyes closed, purely feeling what's happening in your ankles and knees. Excellent. And it's a skill. You're teaching yourself something new if you haven't done this before. Now, John, can I borrow you? and use the high support that'll be a piece of cake for you. Single leg deck squat, go down on one leg, roll back, come up on one leg. With momentum, it's about half as hard as doing a real single leg squat. Jeez. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. <laughs> Perfect. Off you go, that's your next task. <laughs> Take your time. Use the high support for your first attempt, please. It's much easier. Excellent first attempt, Sarah. Truly excellent first attempt. Excellent, Stephen. Yes, you were there. Right on. Great, Angela. And Angela, that's excellent. Now, folks, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. 
Watching other people do the single leg squat will not affect your own at all. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> now let me ask this question of the group. How many of you are struggling to get out of that bottom position? Right? Everyone is. So let me show you what I found to be the, apart from the skater squat, which is the position you were just in then. That was exactly the skater squat position. Watch. Here's the next most important assistant exercise. Again with the kettlebell. Hold, hold, hold. Change legs. Hold, hold, hold. Change legs. Stand up. You'll be able to do it. Yeah, then we're going to come back to the rolling one. I'm trying to teach you a progression. Okay, that's it, now hold that, hold that, that's your glutes, my friend. That's excellent, Cherie. Cherie's got the flexibility to do the form perfectly. Don't let your left ankle collapse, Angela. Well, if you had a go with the holding the bottom position, now, for you, and for a few more of you, try the rolling back, and then rolling into a one-legged squat. You'll have to practice it a few times, it requires some coordination, but it's a brilliant exercise. Off you go. With a weight. Without weight? Yeah. Oh, with a, with a weight is perfectly good. Yes, with a weight actually makes it a tiny bit easier to do. I, I usually do use a weight one. Yeah. I got down about food and I went. There was nothing there. <laughs> yes. How cool is that? My brother used to have a saying, normally when he was paying out on me about something no victory, too small. Your first single leg squat, that's a big one. Very nice. Oh, look at that. From a dead start. Now, when I was seeing the Lester when we first met, um, he was telling me that he's doing quite heavy deadlifts at the moment. I said, yes, but can you do a single leg squat? And he said, no. Obviously, not so. Is that for both legs? Yes. Awesome. Yes, a chunk of wood is a perfectly good counterweight. But for most of you, watching you do this exercise, that's great, Roger. Roger. Top. I strongly recommend you get into that bottom position and just hold it, look at the clock, try for 10 seconds. Watch John here. John, clock is on. Come up a fraction high. Stop. That's five seconds. 10 seconds, go down, change legs. Right on, John. Excellent. Clock's on. And see how he's come up a good two or three inches from the bottom position, that's all close. And bring the second leg in and stand up. Beautiful and that's right on. Perfection. Back up. And so you're using a band, why not? The only difficulty with the band is that the balance component is taken away. Look, I'll just show you what I mean. Watch this. But I wasn't coming back up in anyway. I used to do this version all the time, but I've abandoned it, and I'll show you why. This version is just simply too easy. When you do a version like this, it looks like the same exercise, but it's not the same exercise because my body mass is way behind the balance point, and I'm counteracting that by using the band. This, in my view, will not help you get out of that bottom position. Um, what you're doing there by holding the bottom position with a weight or a block or a dumbbell or something, even if it's something really light, that will. Mm -hmm. Show us your one next mm -hmm. spot. All my life my brother's tortured me with his capacity to do one leg and <laughs> And actually, if there was a god, I'd play on that. Um, and I, no, I won't. He doesn't even need it. No, I'm going to use, um, if I can get the balance, I'm going to take, um, take it out um, all the way down. Can you see how his proportion is helpful to this? That's the point. Because he's got more of his weight forward of the balance point. This is why I need to have even more flexible ankles than him in order to do it, to get the body's mass forward. But look, 
every body shape has its own advantages and disadvantages. And guess what? You're not going to change your proportion, not in this lifetime. But I'm a cyclist and you're a runner, which is also That's right. So do the other leg, can you do the other no, leg? No, my knee's a little bit sore from the, um, mm -hmm. which is very revealing, yeah. The mobility stuff. I could do it, but it just doesn't feel right. Look, that stuff we were doing the other day when we, we were doing the inside out squats and the other things that Craig was taking us through, if you do too many of those, it can definitely tweak your knees. You must build up to them slowly. I remember that was one of the very few things that Coach said when, about holding people back from trying things. He said, don't do any more than one or two of these today. You'll be sore for a week. And that is my experience. See if I can do it with no movement at all. That's good. Yep. That's perfect. Perfect. Perfect one-legged squat. With cover. However, kit. Sorry. just like a bird needs two wings to fly, <laughs> we need to be able to do one legged squat on both legs. I mean, that's all I can do. I can't walk. I can just <laughs> We can sit a one legged squat. You know? yeah, one, legged squat. <laughs> one legged squat. One legged squat. Greg favours the holding the foot method, but because I've been doing um, so much of the gymnastics stuff, I favour just holding a leg out in front. Excellent, you've got oh, that. That's great. Did you notice, by the way, the knee moves immediately? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, to, to settle yourself, just think weight on the outside of the foot. See how your knee wants to come in? Don't let it come in. Go all the way down. That's perfect. Come up smoothly. Yeah, that's exactly what the body wants to do. So listen, another tip. If you're starting to fail form-wise on the way up, only practice negatives. Until you're strong enough. So he's almost there. Very good. Very good. Now John's got another little trick that he's going to show you. You just grab a very small weight for John. Or use that ball. Uh, if your ankle flexibility, and I, I'm, not, I'm not recommending this, if you, I would rec recommend strongly you practice without any heel lift whatsoever, but this got him over the, got him over the confidence of actually being, sorry, gave him the confidence to actually do it. Now, look at the difference, take that block away and just look at the mechanics. This is purely an ankle flexibility problem. Look at the bend in the back. Yep. That's because he's struggling to get his body the weight far enough forward forwards. over the balance point. About mm -hmm. halfway, the knee stops yes. traveling forward. Yes, but now do exactly the same one on the same leg. Look at the difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mechanics is as much about proportion as it is about flexibility too. 